right, I'm here with Red Wilson from Bakersville, North Carolina, one of Western North Carolina's premier old-time fiddlers. We're going to talk about the different styles of fiddling and the style that Red plays. What do you, what do you call your style, Red? Old-time bluegrass. Old-time bluegrass. Old-time bluegrass. Well, you were really, you really grew up in the time when it was just old-time fiddling. Just old-time. Old time right fiddling. at that time yeah. when uh, bluegrass just started, wasn't yeah. it, in the 40s? Yeah. And so what are you trying to do with your fiddle music? What are you trying to make it sound like? I'm trying to make it sound like uh, when I grew up, the, the type that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. how, how would modern bluegrass fiddling differ from what you're playing? The bluegrass fellers, they put more into it. They put more notes into it than I do. The old time fiddlers, they didn't put too many notes. They done a whole lot of bowing, you know, but not too many notes in the thing. How about the right hand? Anything different there with the bowing arm? Well, different people's got different bow arms, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people's got the long bow, you know, and some the real short bow. And How about I think yourself? I'm right in between. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give a demonstration of that with that old uh, tune that uh, you learned from your granddad, uh, Sugar Tree Stomp. Sugar Tree Stomp, all right. <laughs> You play one of the tunes that your granddad wrote that Arthur Smith recorded. My granddad wrote uh, Sugar Tree Stomp. Arthur would come up to my granddad's house and stay for three or four days, maybe a week at a time, you know. They'd play all the time. I think they was trying to steal each other's tunes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Arthur learned that uh, Sugar Tree Stomp from my granddad and went back to Nashville and recorded it. You know, I grew up in the Depression. Uh -huh. You couldn't find a job. Times were hard. I mean, it was hard. And music, I guess, was your main entertainment, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. People would uh, uh, go to neighbor's house, you know, and uh, sit and pick. Your, yeah. your granddad played? My granddad played. The whole family played, uh, played music. There's about three or four fiddlers in the family. <laughs> so. So when did you start actually learning to play the fiddle? Uh, I didn't own a fiddle, I borrowed one. Uh -huh. I borrowed a fiddle and uh, learned to play uh, Red Wing. Took me all day, but I, I learned how to You just figured it out by ear? Yeah. Uh -huh. how, how old were you when you think you were, you know, you were pretty good to get out and play for people, play for dances? Well, that was after I came back uh, from service. So in 45 or 46, something like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's when you started playing professionally. Right. How did that come about that you uh, started playing with Wade Maynard? Old O.D. Calhoun. I don't know if you ever heard him or not. Mm -hmm. He was running the Carolina Barn Dance in Spruce Pine. Mm -hmm. And uh, that thing went pretty good, you know, the Carolina Barn Dance. They come by on him and some other guy come by one day and said, we need a fiddler on the Barn Dance. And I said, heck, I can't play good enough to play on the Barn Dance. And he said, yes, you can too. So they talked me into going playing on the barn dance. Red Wilson played fiddle with Wade Maynard and sang harmony with him for many years. Now Wade was one of the people that started and really influenced everyone who played bluegrass music and old time mountain music back particularly in the 1940s, 50s. So let's do one of Wade Maynard's most famous tunes, the old Down in the Willow Garden. Okay. <laughs> And there I pointed that yellow girl down under the 